Hey there, paper geeks and glitter nerds. It's Anna, the crazy geek crafter. This year for Halloween, uh, the theme of my uh, party is uh, wicked, which in my opinion means witches. I have these uh, apothecary, which apothecary things in my stash, uh, in my uh, decoration boxes. They're made for me uh, by a friend. She had uh, hot glue and paint and she did a wonderful job, but these are more than eight years old now and uh, it's showing. There's another problem. Only one of these is made of plastic. The rest is made of glass, which means they're heavy. And since I store all my decorations in the attic, that means that I have to pack them in boxes and they have to be lifted up into the attic. Therefore, I'm going to keep the one that is plastic and redo it. I'm going to make some new ones. I've been collecting plastic uh, containers all year to do this and now I need to prep them this was not done to the previous ones partly because they were glass but partly because we didn't know better um, she made them for me because I didn't have the time and she thought it would be a fun project so now I'm hoping I can get at least a decent result compared to hers firstly I am taking off these taps on my bottle it's a pill bottle and it's very iconic in Denmark with these taps on top anyone would know what it was from I go through quite a few of these a month, so uh, I have a lot of them. Uh, I apparently didn't save too many, but um, I prepped them with sandpaper because not all of the um, the label wants to come off and the uh, slick plastic may not uh, take too well to the next step in this process, which won't even be in this video because this all of this footage was filmed over a free, free week period. I'm serious because I started it and then I remembered I had to get something else and then it took time to get it and then I started again and then I had to get something else which I also forgot and so on and so forth that on top of being sick of course so um this is how far I've gotten with my rich project I need some apothecary bottles and uh, jars and I also need to make some books now I'm only making two to try it out if it goes well I might uh, make more of them but uh, that's later in the video I will show you the two books I picked up at the first store and I did check that neither of them is uh, signed or anything like that which you sometimes can be lucky to find in first stores but they were not and they're both hardback which was important to me but as I said I'm prepping everything and um, yeah, that takes a while, apparently. The original bottles I have are decorated with hot glue. I am lucky. I've started this uh, wonderful craft that makes it easier to make shapes. And I have a few uh, Halloween shapes. I have the spider whip. I have a spider. I have a witch's hat. And later on you will see a uh, fishbone. You know, pick clean. On top of that, I also have some plastic things, which are one of the things that I had to get before I could move on with the project and those were in the attic and it took a bit of time to uh, find the time and the help to get them down and then I had to unpack everything to find the plastic things I needed but you can use cardstock for this and I wish I had a skeleton head that would have been very nice for this but that I didn't so I'm working with what I got. I'm going to layer these up, trying out uh, how thick I need them, since I'm going to decoupage them onto the uh, books and the bottles with uh, the same technique actually as I did with my haunted house, which is not yet finished. I'm sorry, even sorry to you, but even more sorry to myself because I really wanted it to be done this year. It's annoying, but things take 
far far longer than you think they will so i will finish it that's a promise the house i'm talking about the house these i will also finish of course um but i figured out that the uh, four was a good height to make sure that they wouldn't disappear when i put the uh, napkin paper over them um you can use tissue paper as well but napkins are cheaper in my opinion um and easier to get um, for the um, spider web I will only be using two because they were pretty hard to get out and stacking them was even worse so these shapes are easy to stack and they get four layers each so. but um, yeah it's a process I don't even have a picture of the finished product yet because I haven't gotten that far so this is interesting But anyway, how's your uh, Halloween month going? I've been s having a few setbacks, I'd have to say. And I also have to make a costume. I haven't started that yet. I bought a few things for it, but I st <laughs> again, I have that problem. There's one thing I still need, and I need to go to that special shop to get it. That's a bit annoying, but hey, that's life, isn't it? I have sped up the parts with the die cutting since... I think most of you know how this works, where you put the metal die on top of the paper and put it in the sandwich and run it through the machine. It's not really rocket science or anything, uh, but it takes some time and it's part of the project, uh, getting it done. And this is not the only things I will need. I will also be doing words for the books, at least for one of the books. The other one I'm hoping I can actually do with string. It just Again, have to go find it somewhere upstairs in a box where I put it. And where did it end up? <sighs> yeah, memory's a tricky thing sometimes. So hopefully that will be on part two. And hopefully that's also where I'll finish this project. Because I really don't have that much time left till Halloween. So I'm not, I'm not stressed. I'm just in need of more time. I think... This happens to me every year, this time of year, because I want to wait till it's actually time for Halloween to make these things. But then I kind of run out of time because there's not that much of it. Here are one of the plastic things I was talking about, like this hand, there are skulls. I have some snakes. I also have some bugs, different kind of bugs. And find a bag of uh, beads that are s supposed to be skeleton heads um, I don't think I'll use it for this project in particular maybe on one of the containers but I'm not sure because they're quite heavy um, and I would have to use um, hot glue to uh, get them to stay on I think so I, I don't think I'll be using those but most of these plastic things will work out for me I can bend and I can uh, heat them to uh, to get them the way I want or cut them with a knife that's practical like I said letters I'm just going to write spells on this one that was easy I could th I think I could spell it <laughs> that's the problem isn't it um, I'm not exactly dyslexic but sometimes when I look at something it looks wrong even though it's right and this is one of those when I looked at this word when I finish making it and looked at it on the video it just looked wrong and I got concerned maybe it was the wrong letter I doubled up. But then again, it can't be two S's and it can't be two E's. That would look even weirder. So it must be two L's. <laughs> yeah. Words are hard. I've heard.
since I was planning to use a string or yarn or something f to write the, the title of this book, I'm sketching out the word I want. It's, uh, and I'm probably butchering it, Grimnoir. But that can't be right because there's no N in the middle. But um, it's another word for spellbook um, that you can use. I also actually need to make an extra set of the word spells because I need it on the spine of the book as well. And I need that on this one too. But that's uh, for next week's video. <laughs> I hope you return for it. Until then, I hope you'll be having a good day, evening or night.